Hello everyone. Let's see how to create various charts in Excel. These charts are created based on the sample sales data, what you can see here, and also have created a pivot chart. Let me go back to the previous sheet. Now you can see spark lines here. Now how to create spark lines? There is a separate video for this, and I have provided the link in the description box. Please check that. So let me clear all this. and let's start creating the chart click on insert and click on recommended chart this message appears because i have not selected any data or values now here here we have various chart options like we can create column charts and bar charts we can create line charts we can create uh, pie charts we can create pivot chart let's select a column chart let me select this and a blank box is appeared because we have not selected any data or values here so we need to add columns here manually to create the graph but let's come back to this later now let me select this data range and create the chart automatically click insert and click on the recommended chart now you can see various recommended chart here this is based on the data what i have selected we can scroll down through this and select any of these charts or click on the all chart section here we have various column here we have various charts here like we have column charts in this we have 2d and 3d column chart we have line chart we can select various line charts we have pie charts and we also we have various other charts we can you can go through that but right now let me select this column chart and click on okay now the chart is created and we can drag and place the chart anywhere on the sheet here we can see the estimated and actual sales of all the items being plotted in this chart changing any data or values in about table the chart will get automatically refreshed we have other options in this chart select the chart and we can see here three different options but before that let me change the chart title click on chart title and let me give some valid name to this chart title let's say item wise item wise sales graph and then click outside uh now reselect the chart and select this plus icon and here we can include or exclude the chart elements from the chart check to include or uncheck to exclude chart elements now go back to this chart here we can change the style of the chart and we can see that as i scroll down the style of the chart changes i will keep it to the original one third option what we have is the filter option so click on this uh, filter icon here we can filter chart based on values let's say for example i will remove totals from the chart and then click on the apply button so now the chart is replotted based on the new values reselect the chart include the totals and this time uh let me plot the chart for only one item let's say gadget now remove all other items include estimate totals and actual totals and uh, click on apply button now this is how a chart looks now let's insert a new chart select the data range click insert and let's create a line chart let me select this line chart and you can see a new line chart has been inserted here now go to filter function and this time i'll remove the totals from this line chart so remove all the totals and click on the apply button and click apply so this is how the line chart looks now now select the chart now here you can see there is a chart design 
and we can change the line chart to any other charts like for example if you want to change it to column chart 3d column chart go to 3d column chart and let me select this chart and click ok so now the line chart is being uh, changed to a 3d column chart let me revert back to the old chart old line chart click ok now let's insert the chart manually go to insert and select a 3d column chart now what we'll do is we'll add the data values manually to this chart now select the chart and click on select data and now you select the data range i'm selecting this and you can see all the values being populated here now what i'll do is i'll remove all these items and uh, click OK. So now you can see the total sales of all the items. Now let's change the style of this uh, chart. Uh, well, I'll select the style as so which uh, let me select this one, but uh, not this. Uh, let me select this, yeah. So this is how we create chart in Excel. Now let's create a pivot chart. Now select the data and go to insert and select the pivot chart. Now here the data range is selected and here we need to select like if you want to insert the pivot chart in this uh, worksheet or in a new worksheet. I am selecting the new worksheet. Click OK. And now you can see there is a blank pivot chart here and you can see here all the fields available. Now we can include which items or values you want to be plotted on the graph. So I, you can see as I select the items, the chart is getting plotted and also there is a table. So let me include all these items. And you can see the chart is getting repopulated. We can also remove the items. yeah and now this other option in this chart uh, there's an inbuilt uh, filter option in this pivot chart at the bottom select this and let's filter it by one item let's say let me filter it by let's filter it by two items click ok so now the ch pivot chart is showing only for the two items Now this is how we create charts and PV charts in uh, Excel. Hope you like this. Thanks everyone. Thanks for watching.